It's here. It's here. It's here. Hey guys, it's John and Morgan with Long Haul Lifesavers, and if you haven't heard yet, our computer's in. Let's unbox it. Before we unbox this, we want to let you know this is a cyber power PC that we had made. So I'm going to go over, over the specifications, but let's get it out of the box first. Y'all ready for this? Oh. Fancy little bag of goodies. It's like some cables and stuff. We'll go through that here in a second. LED keyboard, gaming keyboard, <sighs> mouse. Okay, now the piece de resistance. That thing's a behemoth. How to get it out. I feel like you should sit it on the ground. Okay. Holy sh! Nike. We might have to cut, guys, so I can help him. That was a workout. Okay. Let's take some styrofoam off. Be very, very gentle. I know, I'm trying. And this is by far the, well, it is not the most expensive computer I bought. Mac, you suck. But it is definitely the most powerful computer I bought and I've never had one built for me. You can see all this here. This is all tempered glass. Um, and there is a little bit of glass right here too. The reason they do this is to make it all fancy. There's a lot of RGB lights in here that you can change the colors or you can have it run through a rainbow. And that way you can kind of see all the internals of your computer. Let's get into the specs. Internally, this is a Windows computer. So we're gonna be running Windows 10. As far as the CPU goes, we have an AMD Ryzen 7, which is the third gen. Um, so that has eight cores, 16 threads, which is um, the more cores and the more threads you have, the better your CPU is and the better your computer is gonna run, the more stuff you can have open at one time. On top of that CPU, we have a liquid cooled, in, uh, liquid cooled unit instead of a fan. So that way when we're overclocking our computer or we have a bunch of programs open, we don't have to hear the fan kick on, it's all liquid cooled, A plus to that. and you can run these a lot hotter because liquid cooling is more efficient. On to the RAM. We have 16 gigs of RAM in here with two extra slots to add RAM if we wanted to. So really we could put 13 gigs in each one of those slots. And I'm no mathematician, but that's a lot of RAM. Next, as far as memory goes, we have a one terabyte solid state internal memory. And we have two more ports where we can add two more sticks of, what is that? There's a receipt that keeps blowing, so I'm gonna move it. Blah, blah. We fixed the receipt. It was driving me nuts. I don't know if you could hear it, like, it was driving me nuts. I was on our internal memory, so we have one terabyte solid state memory internal, but we also have the option to add two more sticks of memory if we wanted. So that's a lot of memory because I think the biggest solid state you could get is like an eight terabyte. So technically we could have 24 terabytes of storage in this computer, which I don't know who the heck would ever fill up. I'm sure there's people out there that'll fill it up. Okay, we went over the specs. Now it's time to set this bad boy up. It wants the pretty light. Go through the instruction bag and see what's all in here. A bag inside a bag. Power cable, installation guide for the motherboard system and the antennas for the Wi-Fi. So it doesn't have to use these, but it picks up better signals. So if your computer is far away from your router on your internet, it's a good idea to put these on. Sorry about the dogs in the background. Did you get a new toy from Miss Kimberly? Mouse.
wired mouse. Oh, that's big and bulky. We'll probably use the Bluetooth one for that. Keyboard. And a wired keyboard. Let's go through the stuff on the tower and get that all hooked up. So Morgan made a boo-boo. He shot all the footage about taking off this piece, this glass piece, and slow-mo. So to get this piece off, there's two screws in the back that you want to undo. And there's going to be one right here, and then one down here. Take those off, and then the glass piece can come off so that you can take this packing foam out. You're not in slow-mo, right? Not to damage anything. This is our graphics card right here. GeForce RTX 270 or 2070 Super. Um, so what we have right here is uh, this is our RAM that I was telling you about. This is the liquid cooler that goes to here. This was all liquid cooled system. Underneath this little guy here is the CPU. And then down, you can't really see it, but on this little piece right here is our memory. Now, we can take off this plastic piece. Okay. This just sits in here. Take this piece off. More piece. Oh, she's pretty. All right, so we got everything hooked up, all of our peripherals, um, keyboard, everything like that. When you're setting this up, you only wanna do your basic peripherals um, so it doesn't try to scan through everything else when you're doing your initial startup. So just your basics, keyboard and mouse, then get everything set up, and then you can hook up your speakers, everything like that. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Bright lights. So with this model, you are able to change your color. So you can have it one stationary color, you can have it pan through like this, or you can do the actual RGB where it looks like a rainbow. We haven't decided on the color yet. Got everything set up, everything downloaded. We have our editing software downloaded, everything like that, antivirus, all the fun stuff that goes along with the Windows computer that you don't really need with the Mac. All that's set up. Now we just gotta figure out where we want everything arranged, do some cable management, drill some holes for the cables, and we are 100% set up. Cause there's a lot of cables right now. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm too OCD for all that. Okay, so what I wanna do right now is we're gonna time how long it takes to start up cause this is a solid state hard drive. So it should be similar to the Apple time startup. So what we're gonna do is time it. And we've timed a fresh startup on our Mac um, and it takes like 55 seconds. So we're at 22 seconds, 22 seconds. So that's like half the time of Mac. Pretty good. Now we are close to the 200 mark uh, for our subscribers and we are going to do a giveaway once we get to that point and we're going to call it pay it forward. Make sure you turn on the notification bell so you can stay up to date on all our content and that way you can get entered into our giveaway. Until next time guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and then head on over to Instagram and follow us at Long Haul Life Service. See you guys.